in every little movement, dude, you had to be so careful that you don't start sweating. So instead of the wind blowing through the cracks, it seals it like mortar. It's not easy. You're in very austere. Like, dude, when we were in, uh, it was the uh, one with the um, snowmobile. We were in Wyoming. I can't fucking remember, man. Dude, it, it's so crazy. I have, I've forgotten some of the places I've been to. But it was in Wyoming or somewhere in the Rocky Mountains. It was 36 below zero. Ooh. Without the wind chill factor. You literally could take water and go like this, and it would freeze. It would turn into like ice. It was crazy That's cold. Nuts. Yeah, dude. It was like, how long do you really, yeah, like, yep, there it is right there. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Yep, that's it. We we completely. He tore doesn't that. look like he doesn't look like he's wearing that much either. Well, dude, we had to now. Oh, uh, maybe he is. Yeah, okay. he now he had layers upon layers. I had uh, you know a cryptek in my, as my hunting outfit. Like I was. Yeah, you're thick. I, yeah, yeah. I can see it now on him. It and didn't and we him. were at altitude, so like you were dealing with. I think we we're at like nine thousand feet or something. Oof. I can't remember. And it was cold as hell, and you know, I mean, our beards were frozen. Um. And every little movement, dude, you had to be so careful that you don't start sweating. Because if you start sweating, that's how you die. Do you know what I mean? You cannot stop sweating. So you got to strip your clothes off, work a little bit. But it was, dude, it was fucking cold, man. It was, and you want to hear something? Dude, I had the worst diarrhea right there. And like, I had to, <laughs> I had to take my clothes off. I got, I got to go to the bathroom, dude, a couple times. I didn't quite get them off fast enough. How many people are with you when you're filming this part? Um, we probably had on that episode, let me think, oh, uh, 10, 10, I think it was maybe, maybe eight. That one we didn't have a lot because, dude, that was a really grueling one. Normally, We'd have like 12, including an EMT or a doctor oh, or a paramedic. Yeah. Do you know what I Whoa. mean? Yeah. But yeah, but, um, you know, Matt made those like these skis, as you can see, man, it's brilliant. He, can, is, are people going to be able to see this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. have it on the third camera right now. Okay. I don't know if you had it on there a minute ago, Alessi, but we can change that after. But um, so like we basically took this, we took this, uh, the snowmobile apart I took the treads off. I made snowshoes out of them. Matt Whoa. made, yeah. Matt made skis out of the, Whatever. yeah, yeah. So it was just like thinking outside the box. Like, what do you do with all this stuff? I packed it all up, and away we went. And Matt, Matt skied down the. It was really cool. I mean, it worked actually pretty damn well. He was, he was, and I was walking behind him. Now, what do dude, you have rope tied around your waist? No, I had. I had made like a backpack. You know, but let me tell you what happened, dude. What's really dangerous there is the trees. What will happen is snow is so deep that if you walk close to a tree, you'll fall all the way to the base of it. Whoa. And the snow could be eight, nine feet deep. Oh, yeah, dude. It was like, they're like, do not walk near the trees. Is that where they dropped you? Like that was the drop point? Yes. Right there? Okay. Right. So they took us to the top, top. They show this guy, and then the thing just shits the bed. And they're like, all right, Joe, Matt, come on. You're that's like, crazy thanks <laughs> where do you sleep during something like that uh we made a snow cave and actually it was very warm really Fuck yeah man it was warm as hell yeah how warm like what's well warm? It, yeah uh, it got up to 20 yeah, no, no, <laughs> no 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 if you make it right and matt did matt build it i didn't build it matt built it um the way you build those things is do very important see if you can find that video yeah there's there's a, i think they got a picture of matt making it but and i think they got some ir uh shots but anyway you want to make it so when you go in where you're sleeping is higher than where you walk in and you make a hole, an air hole, and you make it very, very tight so you don't make it too big. So you can um, – yeah, that was the one with Cody. That was in Norway. Oh, the one in Norway where yeah. he's wearing the – And, dude, the wind chill factor there was just – it just sucked. It just, you know um, – and I'm toting that damn thing all around. <laughs> Look at him in his like, shorts. Yeah, I was just like – the fuck is wrong dude the back you people got to go listen to that we can't play the audio because it's copyrighted yeah. the back and forth between you two on this is oh and that wasn't hilarious. even all of it dude that was a very very small part of it yeah here he goes this is you starting to freak out like what the fuck is yeah, wrong with you i was well we had to make a shelter because it was getting dark and like he was like literally like hey man we got about an hour and a half because it got dark there very quickly so we made the shelter 
Um, the, the way you lose heat in a cold environment like that is by two ways, convection and conduction. The wind mm. blowing on you or laying on the ground. That's how you lose heat. Mm. So you got to be off the ground. You put bowels on the ground. You take the wind away. So you build a wall. You're still cold as hell, but you can use body heat. You know what I mean? That helps. Did you get to talk to like scientific experts ahead of doing this show? No, I know. No. You, this is all just figuring it out. Well, and learning. Yeah. And dude, let me tell you, I've got a notebook at home. I'm not kidding. I'd love to turn it into a book. It's about that thick. Oh, yeah. Of every little nuance. And dude, yeah. It, it, of shit that you don't read online. Bro, you got to yeah. make a book. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I was thinking about it. And it was because- and I, That's I'll gold. Give, and I'll give it credit to Cody and to Matt, because they're experts at that stuff, and they've done it for so long. They have figured out all these little nuances, like, instead of doing this, check this out. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, would have never thought of that. You know what I mean? It, and it's only by trial and error. Right. Because right, of right. these guys. Yeah. But we had a skin. We built up a wall. Um you know, and the wind, the, I will tell you, the wind was honking. I mean, you could see it. I mean, look at the, the snow blowing. Yeah. But you put boughs down on the ground so you're not laying on the ground. Um, and uh, you put up a wall. And, uh, wow. dude, the whole idea is to get to sleep. Now, now, how similar is this, though, to what you did, um, what Matt did when you were in the Rockies, what we're seeing right here? With the, with the snow. Yeah, so like see what Cody's doing right there? That's one of those little tidbits. So after you build this wall, you throw snow up against the cracks and it seals it. So instead of the wind blowing through the cracks, it seals it like mortar. Whoa. See, like, there you go. There's a perfect example. I, I never heard of that. That's never heard nuts. of it. Yeah, never heard of it. That's great. But these guys, they're like I said, dude, I was very, very lucky – being in ground branch and learning all the tactical shit and all the shooting stuff in the CQB and then, you know, working with those world-class dudes and then working with these guys. I've got, I would tell you right now, if when I got on dual survival, I would say my survival skills on a one to 10 were a three. Mm. And when I left nine, eh, I wouldn't say a nine, but eight solid seven, eight, which is like a fucking so, 18. To everyone solid, else. <laughs> solid seven, eight. Yeah. Solid seven, eight. That's amazing. But, um, but that's how you get good. Remember we were talking about that? Yeah. You, that Dude, that's how you get good. That's where, how you get where's, good. Where was the worst place you were? The Like losing your mind, absolutely batshit crazy. Like bad, like you would never survive this bad or like, like sure, the worst. Whatever the worst um, was. Worst experience in the 41 episodes. Um, Like as a place. Uh, Obviously, I, I like can tell some, you where you're going to die for sure. The salt flats of Bolivia. 